Hi everyone, I'm Ms. Jessica. I'm the Children's Librarian here at the Terryville Public Library and this is Sensory Saturday, a program where I show you a great sensory material that you can make at home and use with your little ones. Um, today I am showing you how to make no cook Play-Doh. It's a fairly simple recipe. Um, it doesn't have a lot of ingredients. You're going to need flour, cream of tartar, salt, food coloring, water, glitter, which is optional, it's just fun, and some um, tools as well. So I have a mixing bowl, I have a tablespoon, and I have some measuring cups as well. Okay, so I have my mixing bowl ready and I am going to add to it one cup of flour, one fourth of a cup of salt, and a tablespoon of cream of tartar. I'm going to mix those together. I am then going to add a few drops of food coloring into my water. You can do any color you would like. I am choosing to do blue today. So I did about seven or eight drops in there. I'm gonna mix it a little bit with my teaspoon. Then I'm just gonna add my water to my flour and salt mixture. And I'm going to stir it up again. It's making a nice, like Robin's egg blue color, which is pretty great. You're just going to keep mixing until those ingredients really form together. If you find that yours is a bit too runny, you can just add some more salt and some more flour until you get the consistency of Play-Doh. So just keep on mixing it. Eventually you could just mix it with your hands instead of the spoon to really incorporate those ingredients. And at this point, when you are mixing it with your hands, you can also add the glitter. So I'm gonna add some blue glitter in here. I love adding glitter into Play-Doh because it just sticks in there, but it also adds some fun sparkles. You see how the material is starting to really stick together? I might add a little bit more flour and salt to this to get less of a goo consistency and more of a play-doh consistency. But just feel it out. All right, now it's really coming together. I'm gonna add more fun glitter in there too. Okay, so after lots and lots of mixing, it is finally coming together. I probably added about a about two cups of flour total and probably about a half of a cup of salt in the end. And now you can see it's really a Play-Doh consistency. So then you can stick it out on a surface. You can let your kids roll it out. You can see that cool glitter in there too adding a bit of extra. 
if you make this at home, please send us pictures of your little ones enjoying it. You can send it to tplchild at biblio.org. We would love to see pictures and see you using our recipes. So there, there you have it, our no cook Play-Doh. I would store this in an airtight container um, and it should last quite a while. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy it.